Hello and welcome to a quick guide on skinning characters for Frenzy VR. Um, so we'll start out on the mod project. Uh, I recommend the weapons modding tutorial uh, to get started. <clears throat> so I've gone ahead and brought in all of these materials and the model for uh, Unity Chan here. Um, the main thing you want to make sure when bringing in your uh, rigged model is to make sure that it is set up for a humanoid animation type. Go ahead and configure that. Uh, this one should already be configured because uh, that's how she comes in with the, uh, the asset bundle from the Unity store. Um, <clears throat> so that's all good. Again, humanoid animation type. Uh, after that, that's all you really need. Go ahead and drag her in the scene. Um, we want the animator uh, it, it can be on any any level, but uh, the the root is is fine as well. Um, we're going to add in a NPC prefab profile component, um, and then we're going to drag our animator in there. So I'll do assign the avatar. Um, another reference we need is a. Uh, position for the health monitor. Uh, this is something you're going to have to add yourself. Uh, it's just a transform wherever you want to attach the health monitor to. Um, the upper spine is kind of the, the go-to. It usually sits um, on the, the right breast. Um, so we'll go ahead. Actually, I'm going to unpack this first. All right. Go into that spine, create an empty, and turn ready. And we're going to move it out. There, uh, make sure that the rotation is such that the C is forward and the Y is up. Good. Let's pitch it over a little bit. All right. Then we go back to our NPC prefab profile. Go ahead and drag that in there. And that'll set the position up right. Um, <clears throat> so another thing we can do, uh, there's a lot of automatic functionality in here with these checkboxes. Um, we'll go ahead and overwrite existing so when you check the get bones from avatar box, automatically uncheck itself. Uh, you're just telling it to run a, a script uh, in the editor. And then if I click draw bones, uh, we see nothing. Ah, yes, okay. So any, any bones that you want to auto-calculate, you're going to have to check that auto-calculate box. Um, so it uses the current bone and then the next bone in the chain to uh, calculate length. Um, I think for this particular rig, all of these uh, should be flipped as well. Uh, so if I go down the chain, uh, so things like hands, they don't have a next bone, so they won't auto calculate. So you have to adjust those yourself. Um, I'm just gonna take the radius from the previous one, pop that in there, pop that in there, give it a little, Flex offset. We actually make the Oops. good just for demo purposes. Um, <clears throat> go ahead and calculate flip. The chest and hips, um, because they're not part of a, an actual limb chain, they don't have one that's literally the next bone. Um, there's not really much we can do there. Um, that auto calculate checkbox is kind of legacy um, or, uh, I guess, vestigial. Um, 
<clears throat> from the the other uh, functionality here, so it's not going to do much. Um, yeah, so the one bones are pretty much going to set themselves up. You'll have to go in and um, set up the the rest of these transforms yourself. Um, as long as this drum bones is checked, I should be able to get that uh, set up just fine. Uh, and that's really all there is to it. Um, just making sure you get that that rig set up uh, so that when the model comes into the engine, uh, it sets up the colliders for the NPCs with all of their uh, logical complexities in place. Um, and yeah, you can add a display name. It's not really used, um, but it'll be there in case we, we ever decide to use it um, for like hovering name tags or whatever. Um, yeah. So a look at what a complete, oh, right, right. So once you've got that all set up, uh, you can click and drag into the prefabs folder. It's not opening. Um, I already have one prepared here. Uh, so this is sort of what she looks like uh, completed. Um, and then as with weapons modding, uh, you make sure the model, all the textures, materials um, and the prefab itself are all in the asset bundle you want to include uh, with your with your mod pack <clears throat> and then you should be good to uh, go ahead and build your asset bundles and from there on it's pretty much the same as uh, bringing in weapons uh, the one difference here is in our data init file. Um, instead of weapon table, uh, we are adding it to the NPC table. And that's really all there is to it. Uh, make sure your model comes in as humanoid. Set up your rig. Uh, make sure you get all of your references here filled out. Um, make sure everything is in the appropriate asset bundle. Make sure your data in it is writing to the NPC table uh, with the correct prefab address, um, which is basically just the path to this prefab within your uh, project. Um, and then yeah, you're you're good to build your bundles, wrap everything up, and either sideload it uh, or upload a zip to mod.io.